Pope Francis caught the public imagination when he defined the current situation, a World War III in pieces. Sustainable development with dignity and justice for all was the motto of the conference organized by the Office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights here at the UN in Geneva. One of the panelists, Monsignor Silvano Tomasi, permanent observer of the Holy See to the UN Geneva. In his speech, he emphasized the proper implementation of the right to development. Solidarity is a spontaneous reaction by those who recognize that the social function of property and the universal destination of goods are realities which come before private property. The private ownership of good is justified by the need to protect and increase them so that they can, be, can better serve the common good. For this reason, solidarity must be lived as the decision to restore to the poor what belongs to them. The Declaration on the Right to Development was adopted by the United Nations in 1986. Archbishop Tomasi also pointed out that many of the fundamental notions of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights stated in the founding documents of the UN are also explicitly articulated in the social doctrine of the Catholic Church. These basic concepts are, one, the unity of origin and the shared destiny of the human family, two, the equal dignity of every person and of every community, three, the universal destination of the goods of the earth, four, human development must be integral, embracing the whole person, five, the human person must be at the center of every social activity, and six, solidarity and subsidiarity are necessary for a, a healthy development. So these principles are mutually intertwined, interdependent, and essential for a right to development that can lead society out of its deep crisis. My hope is that the emphasis placed on the Declaration on the Right to Development will serve as a catalyst to the proper implementation of its clear principles for the progress of the common good and the improvement of all sectors of life for people. I wish to close with word, the words once again of Pope Francis. He says, in the case of global political and economic organization, much more needs to be achieved since an important part of humanity does not share in the, benefit, in the benefits of progress and is in fact relegated to the status of second class citizens. Future sustainable development goals must therefore be formulated and carried out with generosity and courage so that they can have a real impact on the structural causes of poverty and hunger, attain more substantial results in protecting the environment, ensure dignified and productive labor for all, and provide appropriate protection for the family which is an essential element in sustainable human and social development. Specifically, this involves challenging all forms of injustice and resisting the economy of exclusion, the throwaway culture, and the culture of death, which nowadays sadly risks becoming passively accepted. Thank you.